in this video I'll show you how to split your screen to have uh, to share your app and your browser first you just need to go you first need to open your app open TMA media app right have it opened then use your menu switcher also you get your Chrome browser get it open I've already opened one now I have a lot of um, tab open that are not necessarily they are not set right so I have a lot of them open I can close all of them so that I have a clean sheet now I have both the app and the browser hub so what I would love to do is to first set all these indices that I want to trade 10 1 X 100 index 50 index okay all I have to do now first of all is to come here and open a browser and go to binary.com okay that's a signal it has not rang but the signal it's already up i don't know which signal it is but i think it should be like 100x so right now you have um volatility 100 the first thing is we go to touch to set up right let's just set one and then we'll use one as an example you will know how to do the remaining so i can get to do five uh, minutes this is 17 17 divided by 6 is more of like saying um, that should be like if I divide 6 6 here 1 so we, we should have like uh, about 3 about 3 let's say about 3 because 3 times 6 is 18 so we say about 3 so we can divide cancel this and say minus 2 point eight for instance okay so this gives me 9.1 so meaning 3.2 is actually correct so we'll do 3 minus 3.2 okay so what we have here right now, now is 10.3 which is good so here I have one index set now I you need to do this for three now if you do not know how to navigate through all this all i will do is just show you another one more then you need to duplicate the remaining right so i've already had 100 so i'm going to come here to new tab if you're wondering where did i click this three uh column that's what i click the three dotted column so click on it it's going to create a new it's going to create a new tab for you so uh, i want to create a new tab create click on it the one i've clicked on has not yet come up so i suspect um my phone is freezing so i'll re i'll relaunch it okay it's coming up so i can say the second one it has opened now so you open new with new tab the same way you can say new tab you open another one you can open binary again so I've had three tabs open so you set them remember divide the default value by four okay so let me fix this for like um, uh, 50 right so come here to 50 set um, touch change the value to like five divide this we should get like zero point something so it's going to be minus zero point zero let's say three eight and see what that gives us now remove this it has to be minutes so i have to insert the value again minus don't make that mistake set this thing down before you start trading three eight so let's see what this gives okay this gives 13 that means it should be like around three four okay 
340 too much. Okay, this should be the one with the value 28. So most times I always miss them together. Okay, so this is the one with the value 28. All right, so now I've already set this as well. That's what you do to the third one. So once you've had three columns, right? I've had all those three. All I need to do is I want to split this guy. Now, maybe I set them as 100, 50, 10 hex, right? 150, 10 hex. So let me close this. Since this first one is 100, the second one is 50. So I want the last one to be 10x okay so first is 10x so all you need to do is open all of them right you open all of them so uh, it's not 100x it's 10x so we'll click on 10x you set the same as you have done for the others so five minutes here you have a minus so we have minus 0 0.28 uh, or something, it should be 28. If you divide it, remember, it has to be minutes, not tick. Okay, so it should be minus 0 point, let's say 28, let's see what that is, or 3. Okay, 28 is more, so it should be 26 or something. It's to give you exactly 10 points, right? That's what you're looking for, 10 points. So I can enter this old value. Now I have this old value set down, right? I started from 100. This is for 100. This second column is for 50. And the last column is for 10x. Those are the ones I have on my um, hub that high click so you set based on what you have so right now all i need to do i want to split the screen so that i'll be able to see both the signal and the browser based on the time frame i want to trade so i'll click on this icon here you can see split screen for some other you have to press down the you have to press down the app now my app is splitable so you you can get to see it so i'm seeing the the indices right i'm seeing them whenever they turn green they are going to vibrate as well if you now want it to be ringing you just need to change your setup and it's going to ring instead of just to vibrate so it's going to vibrate so i'm come here and i select this guy remember i have three of them i already know the first one is 100 the second one is 50 the third one uh, the first one here is 10 hex. So all I need to do is to have this set up like this. Once I get to the one hour time frame I want to dedicate for trading, I come up, I open my setup like this. Remember, you have to open your timer. This timer is very important. You have to have the floating timer because that's what you're going to use to validate. Instead of you opening up, uh, these guys like this which you can also do right you can also do that open them up like this to check and confirm that you've received the actual result instead of you doing that all the time this timer is going to help you yeah this timer is going to help you but you have to ensure you first align this timer with the time on binary.com so look at this you can see my timer and binary.com are similar you can see it here see 52 53 54 55 they are similar so you have to synchronize yours with binary as well right so any signal that comes first 15 seconds that's what we treat so and each time you leave this thing for more than five minutes that's the tab the various tab if you leave it open for more than five minutes what you need to do is to go there to each page make sure you refresh by pressing it down refresh the page reload the page go to the other one reload the page load all of them up reload all the pages why are you doing that to avoid lag
so that in case signal comes up you want to press enter is now not loading is now refreshing it's now trying to catch up you either leave your stuff like this so that you can pick any one of them that you want to trade or you leave it on one but every five minutes you have to refresh like now if there's supposed to be a signal if it doesn't come before 12 seconds forget it 15 seconds leave it alone if you have not entered the trade leave it alone like now a signal didn't come signal didn't come but a signal showed up but it's late you're hearing this email that's for a signal but it's a late signal it's on 25x you are not seeing it because you are not subscribed to it so if you want to get other notifications that are like bonuses that i added to this um free subscription what you need to do is to make sure you close this but you 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 have to have you're not going to split the screen you're going to have just a single screen just your browser home then you're going to be working with notification that's all you you just work with the notification but this way is the normal setup based on what you have down and for you to confirm if there's going to be any signal on any of them while i am I waiting for so long the simple way to confirm which one you should expect more just check on the chart one hour one hour on the chart the bars must be red and below moving average once you have a bar below moving average and on one hour you are good there will be signal very soon so guys you get to spend 45 minutes to one hour with this kind of setup with a hub and you are good to go you, you can easily switch check confirm quickly okay two seconds mm. enter your timer is also here if you're not having a timer ensure you open the alert when the alert comes and this place turns green and it vibrates you need to open it you open it that's if you're not with a timer you open it you can see the times here at the date with time you can see 5304 5302 they come on time so you trade on time 